How about the the, mer- the message, the narrative from all these Democrat leaders that it's the it's the it's law enforcement causing the problems in Portland? If they would just let them burn the buildings down and hold their riots and and destroy things without any law enforcement intervention, things would be okay. That really does seem to be the fallback position. I'm not kidding you. That seems to be the the the, the fallback position for these Democrat leaders. And I don't know how people aren't watching this, even if you don't like President Trump, even if you're a Democrat, even if you're somebody who's not even that politically engaged. I got to believe you're looking at that and you're saying, what? You're vilifying the effort to help restore law and order to a city, including New York, where John is standing by to weigh in on this? Hey, John, thanks for joining us. How you doing? Hey, how you doing, Mike? Um, it's actually it's Sean. Oh, I'm um, sorry, Sean. on the screen. How you doing, Sean? No problem. I'm good. I listen. I I was so angry with Trump. I wasn't voting for him no matter what. But I'll be damned if I'm going to watch my city burn down. And, the, and Biden is, is, is a joke. It's an absolute joke. I mean, I swore I'd never vote for him, but I'm for him. Everyone I know is for him. It's disgusting what I'm seeing. I just on your your mayor said if if Trump sends in federal law enforcement to help the city deal with the the lot of the problems of crime and and lawlessness de Blasio is going to sue him he's going to sue the federal government I I mean I, that's just I mean it's just his nonsense talk I wouldn't even listen to that moron but I mean honestly there's two things I just want to get out real quick is somebody getting like pictures of these assholes I'm sorry these jerks that are hurting the cops so we can prosecute them afterwards like, I mean, are they documenting who's hitting the cops, who's attacking them? Because eventually there's going to be payback. And I would love to know that these thugs are going to go down eventually. Because if I was out there hurting people. Oh, but Sean, I got to go back to something you said about you're, you're not a fan of the president. Your friend, your friends are, are feeling the same way you are right now. Are your friends Absolutely. in the they weren't really particularly strong on Trump, but they feel like they've got to vote for him because of what the left is doing right now? All of us were. We're all. We're all. We're the middle of the road people, and it's a lot of us, you know. And it's we originally we weren't going to vote for Clinton. We voted for Trump, which none of us had really voted Republican for a while. But then he just, you know, we really got angry with him. A lot of us are vets. A lot of us served in the '90s. We weren't happy with what happened with the Kurds, and that was one of the reasons, as far as the vets are concerned. The other guys, they have their own issues. But then watching De Blasio just just let my city burn. I mean, I'm so angry. I will never vote. I will never vote Democrat again. I can tell you that right now. I am just so angry. You're alone, Sean. Thank you very much for bringing your perspective to our show. And I appreciate you being reasonable and open-minded and objective. If anybody, if you're objective, how do you disagree with Sean? How do you, how do you support a mayor? Can we find somebody who, 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 who believes that it's, the, that it's the police, it's law enforcement that's the problem here? Because that's what these nuts on the left are saying. That's what these mayors are saying. That's what Lori Lightfoot is saying. This 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 mayor is a is a perfect example of leadership, Democrat leadership in America today. Here's the president repeatedly saying, "We will send in federal law enforcement to help Chicago." Chicago is under siege continually, violence, shootings, gang bangings. 14 people shot in front of a funeral home, and yet this is Mayor Lori Lightfoot on the issue of President Trump, a president from whom this week she accepted federal funding. She takes the money with one hand and then, you know, stabs him in the back with the other. Listen. That may add value, but the proof is going to be in the pudding. It's too soon to be able to say if this is a value add or not. Those poor families was a political stunt. There has been no goodwill from this president. Those poor, what families is she even talking about? I don't even know what, I'm sorry, I'll have to get some context on that quote. She's talking about families who are rioters? Is she talking about, is she going back to Lafayette Park? What is she talking about? What are any of them talking about? They have one message. Orange man bad. Trump must be defeated. Anything he's in favor of, we are we, we are against. If it's a life-saving drug, potentially, like hydroxychloroquine, we're against it. Now there are all kinds of studies coming out, people routinely singing its praises. 
if he wants to send in federal law enforcement, we're against it. We're against it. Here's the president with the announcement yesterday of what's going to happen with federal law enforcement in a city like Chicago that is under siege. Every American, no matter their income, their race, or their zip code, should be able to walk their city streets free from violence and free from fear. For this reason, today, I am announcing that the Department of Justice will immediately surge federal law enforcement to the city of Chicago. The FBI, ATF, DEA, U.S. Marshal Service, and Homeland Security will together be sending hundreds of skilled law enforcement officers to Chicago to help drive down violent crime. And murderers and violent criminals are breaking a wide range of federal laws. We have that. It's as wide as it can be. We will find them, arrest them, and prosecute them. They will be in jail for many years to come. And we will work with local police to identify violations of state and local laws to help ensure that offenders are caught and jailed for their crimes.